Samsung is doubling down on thin and light designs for its upcoming flagship smartphones and the latest leak from ICE Universe just gave us a huge glimpse into what's coming. According to exclusive information, the next generation Galaxy Z Fold 7 will be the thinnest foldable phone in the world when it launches. We're talking about just 3.9 millimeters thick when unfolded and 8.9 millimeters when folded. That's insanely slim even compared to current non-folding flagships. And what's even more impressive is that Samsung is packing a 4,400 mAh battery into this razor-thin body, made possible by adopting new battery and charging technologies. But that's not all. The Galaxy Z Flip 7 is also getting a nice battery boost, with a 4,300 mAh capacity, which is a solid upgrade for a compact clamshell foldable. Samsung's clear focus this year is on optimizing space and power, while keeping the devices sleek, portable, and premium in every way. And it's not just the foldables getting the slim treatment. The leak also confirms that the basic version of the Galaxy S26 will continue the trend of thin and lightweight builds. The new leak has confirmed the price and launch countries for Samsung upcoming trifold phone. Samsung is once again pushing the boundaries of mobile innovation, this time with a device straight out of science fiction. According to reliable tipster Yojish Brar, the much-rumored Galaxy Trifold is officially set to launch in Q3 this year, meaning we could see it between July and September. But here's the shocking part. This revolutionary foldable won't be available worldwide. Samsung is planning an ultra-limited release targeting just two markets, South Korea and China. But innovation doesn't come cheap. Brar notes that this device will launch in limited quantities, with a price tag ranging between $3,000 and $3,500, making it Samsung's most expensive mobile device ever. So why the limited launch and high price? It's a strategic move. So what makes the Galaxy Trifold so special? As the name suggests, this isn't your average foldable. It's expected to feature a triple fold in display, essentially giving users a compact tablet that folds down into a smartphone form factor. Samsung is likely testing the market, gouging interest and ironing out any issues before going global. South Korea and China are ideal testing grounds. Both markets have a strong appetite for cutting-edge tech, especially foldables. If a trifold is well-received, we could see a broader release in 2026. We recently got a look at the renders of the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Flip 7. And now, another leak has surfaced that confirms it all. We're quickly approaching the launch of Samsung's next-generation foldables, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Galaxy Z Flip 7, and the leaks are picking up steam. One of the most intriguing recent developments is that the Fold 7 could be incredibly thin, potentially rivaling the Oppo Find N5, which currently holds the title for thinnest foldable. According to the leak, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 might measure just 4.54 mm when unfolded and about 9 mm when folded, making it only 0.1 mm thicker than the Oppo Find N5. That difference is so small, most users likely won't even notice it. On the other hand, literally the Galaxy Z Flip 7 is expected to maintain the same thickness as the Flip 6, measuring 6.94 mm when unfolded. Including the camera bump, the Flip 7 is said to come in at 9.17 mm thick. Here are the leaked dimensions. Galaxy Z Fold 7, unfolded 158.43, 143.14, x 4.54 mm. Galaxy Z Flip 7, Unfolded 166.61 x 75.23 x 6.94 mm. While the Fold 7's slimmer profile is certainly a welcome improvement, there are still a few hardware decisions that may leave fans underwhelmed. Samsung is reportedly planning to expand the use of titanium in its upcoming foldable devices, including the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and the rumored Trifold model. A new report from Felix suggests that the company is considering replacing the traditional backplate material with titanium to create slimmer and lighter foldables. This shift follows Samsung's experimentation with the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition last year, where a titanium component played a key role in reducing both thickness and weight while maintaining durability. The backplate, which serves as the internal hinge support between the folding panel and hinge mechanism, is crucial in foldable design. Samsung is expected to continue using a titanium internal hinge, which despite being challenging to manufacture, offers a thinner, lighter, and stronger solution. The move could significantly enhance the design of the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and the Galaxy G Fold Trifold, making them more refined without sacrificing structural integrity. Samsung previously achieved a 0.6 mm reduction in thickness by removing the digitizer in the Z Fold Special Edition, though that also meant losing S Pen support something that's unlikely to happen with this year's main foldable lineup. Here's your first real glimpse at the Galaxy Z Fold 7. 
Samsung is gearing up to unveil the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 this July, and a recent image leak has provided an early hands-on look at one of the foldables like the Fold 7. The leaked photo showcases a device with a wide cover screen and a real-world in-hand appearance, suggesting that Samsung may have distributed early units to select users for testing. The image reveals the camera side of the alleged Galaxy Z Fold 7, which closely resembles the layout seen on the Z Fold 6. However, Samsung has made a subtle change by repositioning the LED flash toward the center of the camera bump. Another noticeable upgrade is the design with the Fold 7 adopting slightly more rounded corners similar to the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The leaked color variant also matches the S25 Ultra's signature hue. Visually, the device appears to offer a wider cover screen, improving usability. Samsung seems to be redefining the cover display experience with the Z Fold 7. The outer screen is expected to grow to 6.5 inches, up from 6.3 inches on the Fold 6, while the inner display could expand to approximately 8.2 inches. These upgrades could make the Z Fold 7 the slimmest foldable in its class. Under the hood, the Fold 7 is expected to feature the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 Elite processor, while the Z Flip 7 might run on the Exynos 2500. Both devices will ship with Android 16 and battery-efficient displays. To help reduce thickness and weight, Samsung is reportedly using a titanium-based internal hinge in the Fold 7, a material first tested in last year's Special Edition Fold. This innovation may also pave the way for future devices, like the Tri-Fold. According to well-known tipster Anthony, Samsung is planning to unveil a whole lineup of new devices and software, it's got the entire tech community buzzing. Let's start with the official stuff. First up, One UI 8 is set to make its debut. This is going to be Samsung's next major software update based on Android 15. We can expect refreshed visuals, improved system animations, and even more Galaxy AI features integrated throughout the user experience. If you're a Samsung user, this is going to be a big one. Next, the stars of the show, the foldables. Samsung will reportedly launch the Galaxy Z Fold 7, the Galaxy Z Flip 7, and an all-new Galaxy Z Flip 7 Fan Edition. The Fold 7 is rumored to be slimmer, lighter, and possibly featuring an upgraded under-display camera. Meanwhile, the Flip 7 is expected to come with a larger cover screen and stronger hinge durability. But that's not all Samsung is also bringing out the Galaxy Watch 8, which should come with improved health tracking, better battery life, and deeper Galaxy AI integration for wellness and productivity. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast or just love smart wearables, this one's worth watching. Now let's talk about the rumor releases. First up is the Galaxy Watch Ultra 2, Samsung's premium smartwatch series aimed at competing with the Apple Watch Ultra. Think rugged design, advanced sensors, and top-tier performance. Then there's the Galaxy Ring 2, a follow-up to the smart ring Samsung has been teasing this year. We might also see a new pair of Galaxy Buds, likely featuring better ANC, spatial audio, and possibly AI-powered call enhancements. And finally, the wildest of them all, the Galaxy XR headset. Samsung might be preparing to enter the extended reality game with a headset co-developed with Google and Qualcomm. Additionally, the company is preparing to launch two more foldables in the second half of the year, a trifold model and a more affordable flip variant. According to the Bell, Samsung Display is currently manufacturing OLED panels for the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Z Fold 7. Alongside these, the company is working on a trifold device and a budget-friendly Z Flip Fan Edition, both of which could be unveiled in the fourth quarter of 2025. The report also indicates that these foldables may enter mass production as early as next month. This timeline aligns with Samsung's typical foldable release schedule, hinting at a possible July launch similar to previous years. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.